So Agostino, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and congratulations on, on this wonderful, very unique film, Selfie. So maybe you can introduce the film a little bit and tell us the story of why you wanted to make this film, how it came about. The film comes from a suggestion, from a news that I had discovered di un ragazzo che era stato ucciso durante un inseguimento dei carabinieri, lui era sul motorino senza casco, non guidava neanche lui, e viene da un quartiere con una grossa diciamo, penetrazione della criminalità e alla fine dell'inseguimento il ragazzo è stato ucciso pur essendo incensurato e non avendo nessun problema con la legge, essendo onesto. Il film è uh, born da uh, un a new I have uh, read on, on the papers uh, related uh, with uh, uh, a young boy, 16 years old, who was killed uh, in, uh, in uh, the neighborhood where uh, he was living uh, after a chase made uh, by the police uh, that uh, met these three guys uh, that were riding on a motorcycle without helmet uh, and at a uh, certain point uh, the, the motorcycle stopped uh, two of them uh, escaped uh, and he was uh, killed in his back uh, by the police e come e come dice la famiglia questo ragazzo è stato ucciso una seconda volta quando i giornali subito dopo la notizia hanno sentenziato che questo ragazzo sicuramente era un camorrista um, what the family says uh, is uh, uh, considered that the neighbor is a neighbor at a high criminality penetration. So the family says that the kid has been killed twice uh, because uh, after this tragedy happened, uh, he was uh, in a way uh, considered uh, as a uh, someone belonging to criminality and so in a way he had been looking for something like that. E quindi ho pensato di andare a realizzare questo film non tanto per raccontare come è andata la tragedia, non era un'investigazione, una detection, ma più che altro per raccontare il contesto nel quale questa tragedia si era consumata. So I decided to go there and uh, my intention was not to make uh, a kind of uh, reportage on what happened, but I was much more interested in uh, the context and showing the context in, we, in, in where this tragedy happened. E per farlo ho cercato due amici del ragazzo ucciso che avessero, mentre io giravo, la stessa età di quando il ragazzo era stato ucciso, quindi 16 anni, e ho dato loro lo strumento più semplice da usare, che era appunto un cellulare, chiedendo loro di auto inquadrarsi sempre. And to do that I've been looking for uh, two young boys of the same age of uh, of this uh, this uh, this young this young boy Davide and uh, when when I encountered the, the two person uh, that I was thinking were good to make this work uh, I gave them uh, the tool uh, they had uh, the highest familiarity with, uh, which was a portable phone. And do you think that there's something so, there's something so unique about filming on a mobile phone? What do you think the effect of using that instead of a traditional camera is? Io volevo, allora, eh, si è parlato molto in generale de, di Napoli e volevo riuscire a disinnescare questa um, autorappresentazione che ogni ragazzo di Napoli fa di se stesso quando si parla del proprio quartiere. Volevo togliere un filtro e il cellulare era la... volevo, volevo eliminare la figura dell'operatore della telecamera per, un, per avere un accesso più diretto verso i personaggi e il cellulare era l'unico oggetto che loro sape sapevano già usare senza la necessità che io gli facessi una scuola. Uh, well, the first thing I was uh, thinking is to... Uh, Naples has been represented a lot. 
um, in the criminal aspect, uh, let's say. I wanted to go there because, uh, and to use this, uh, this instrument, uh, because I wanted to, to eliminate uh, the filter that uh, through a traditional uh, mean uh, for, for shooting is normally used. I wanted to eliminate that. I wanted to ask them to be part of this uh, representation. And uh, I thought that uh, with a portable phone, uh, we didn't need to make any specific uh, school because they already know very well how to use it. And the second re la seconda ragione è che il cellulare mi dava una possibilità unica, quella di far sì che loro potessero vedersi nel display sempre, in modalità selfie appunto, come, come in uno specchio, e mettendosi di lato loro potevano vedere se stessi e la realtà da cui loro provengono. Another uh, reason why I decided to use the portable is that uh, I could make with them uh, uh, something in where they were always present uh, in, the, in the shot. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the portable phone, in a way, it was like a, a mirror. A mirror where they could uh, not just uh, look at themselves, uh, but also include uh, what they have behind, what they have, so it's really, you know, being part. Che era il famoso contesto nel quale si è consumata la tragedia. And of course, the context that I wanted to be represented in this way is a famous uh, context where the tragedy happened. And working with this Alessandro and Pietro, it's, were there challenges in dealing with people who aren't used to being um, involved with film, the fact that they were filming themselves, were there times when perhaps they weren't producing what you needed or it became complicated? You know, was it difficult to work with them at any times? Dal punto di vista tecnico artistico, nessun problema. È stato un miracolo lavorare così bene con loro. Uh, under the sotto dal punto di vista tecnico e ah, artistico. Ah, yes. Under the technical and artistical point of view, no problem at all. It has been really great to work with them and they have been fantastic. Dal punto di vista invece della relazione, loro all'inizio erano entusiasti perché pensavano fosse meno impegnativo, ma quando hanno visto che era un lavoro vero, hanno iniziato a scocciarsi e a essere sempre meno disponibili finché uno dei due proprio Pietro è partito perché non ne poteva più del tutto. Mm. Under the point of view of the relation, well, uh, at a certain point they realized it, it was a real job, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they started uh, getting a little bit more distracted and uh, annoyed maybe, and in fact, uh, along the time of the shooting, uh, at a certain point, uh, we completely missed one of them. And how did you bring them back? <laughs> Beh, no. nel documentario ci sono due sceneggiatori, eh, il, il regista e, e, e il caso. E quindi il regista deve essere in grado di accettare anche le proposte del caso, <laughs> trasformandole in materia del racconto. In uh, what we could call the screenplay, there are always two elements. The one that it's brought by the director, and then the second performer in this is the, the case, you know, what happens. And one has to have the capacity to use this hazardous element in favor of the project. Infatti il film racconta l'abbandono di Pietro. And in fact the film narrates uh, the fact that one of the two, at a certain point, uh, leave the, the other alone. And there seems to be many themes that come out of this film, um, not least the background to the tragedy of their friend dying, but poverty and challenges for people growing up in this neighborhood, they're not in school, their parents can't support them. But then it's also a slice of life, just a glimpse into this world, and there's beautiful moments there too. So how do you 
see the themes in the film and what people might take away from watching it. Ma io penso che il tema centrale sia il desiderio di questi ragazzi di vivere una vita normale dove la normalità è tutt'altro di quella che noi consideriamo normale. He says that the, the, the main theme of the film is the fact that we see to young boys that are really deeply willing to live a normal wife, life uh, in an atmosphere and in a context where normal life is really something different. And um, what do you think the impact of showing a film like this at Berlin Film Festival would be in the fact that it is quite unconventional and are you excited that you're able to present the film here? Sono due domande che, come devo dire, che cioè rispondo io per conto del pubblico perché anch'io sono un po' spettatore e nel vedere il film insieme al pubblico è come se l'avessi visto con altri occhi. Mm. Uh, I reported the last part of your question which I had forgotten related to how the public can take this film and uh, it says that uh, uh, he answers himself because he feels that watching the film in a, in a public screening and with the audience, also himself feels a little bit as a, a, a public member. I had the impression that if everything that you teach in the schools of cinema, the rules to make the suspense, to make the violence, creare delle emozioni, che sono delle regole che sono in piedi da cento mm. anni, è come se all'improvviso fossero state messe da parte. Mm. Infatti i primi dieci minuti il pubblico è un mm. po' eh, così, eh, come si può dire, spiazzato. spiazzato. E, e poi a un certo punto è come se quelle regole che il pubblico ha imparato mm. ne, nel, nella propria carriera di spettatori, le mettessero loro per trasformare la materia prima e cioè bello. io ho fatto lavorare il pubblico, non gli ho più, non gli ho bello, più portato bello. un cucchiaino, sono, sono loro che hanno, sono, il pubblico è diventato coregista di questo film. This film uh, pass by the essential uh, rules you, you learn in a, in a film school and uh, under the dramaturgical point of view uh, under many aspects uh, this film uh, makes something which does not correspond with the essential rules. And in a way, he feels that the public starts a little bit displaced by the film. But at a certain point, they start working by themselves. They make the kind of connection, the kind, they relate the different elements uh, uh, one with the other, and they really participate, and it's something we say without rhetoric, it really participate to create the film. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.